Hello everybody. In today's tutorial, we will be doing a transparency gradient. For example, in this um, in this image, there is a background, and then it's a it's a transparency, but has more opaque towards the right, so that you can um, you know put in some text, um, some headings, whatever you want. For example, like for a travel brochure or, or something like that. Uh, another version is this one. It's the same. It's just with another image. So to start off, the first thing we do is we add a page, okay, and we look for an image. We go to elements, okay, go to elements, and we can search for, let's say, beach, okay, and you have to have photos, of course, because this is a photo. Now, because mine is the the measurements are 4500 by 5400 pixels. It's more of a portrait. So um, you can do landscape. I'm not saying that you can't. You can, for example, like this. Okay, You can put it up. The only thing is you may not get the, the full image you know, because you, you need to stretch it out. So this is what happens. But you can move it here perhaps okay now we can use this let's try that of course the easiest would be just to get something that's a portrait like this now in this case um, let me go back was it free yes it was free now, i do have a pro version right now because i think it's really worth it to get a pro version um, the only thing is you need to change it around. You can't have it like this because so many people will be having the same things, especially in YouTube videos. If you look at it, a lot of people use the Canva images and also Pixabay. We can go on Pixabay, but please read the licenses to see whether you can use it for commercial purposes. Okay, so for this one, now we've got this. Now we go back to elements okay, and we look for um, transparency gradient white because we want white okay so we look at that and let's click graphics so you have quite a few here and a lot of them are pro version now what you can do is go to a platform like pixabay and search for something there okay let's just take this because i want something more opaque on the right hand side so let's try that one there that is a bit grayish, um, which is not what I want. I wanted white, so let's. You can do with gray. I'm not saying you can't. Okay, now that looks good. So let me just uh, adjust it. Okay. Now that's adjusted. Now, if you look at this, it is transparent. Now, if you look at this, this one is a bit opaque, but not as much as this. So what you do is you click that again and you add it again. Okay, so you just add that. And if you can see, as you add it, it gets more opaque. Okay, so now, we need to add some text. Now you can make it more opaque on this side uh, or you can shift it a bit here and enlarge it so that it, it's a bit more uh, softer. Okay, now you can add the text. So the text can be anything. Let's see what you, you can choose the text here as well of course. Some are pro, some are free. But let's just add a heading. Um, what shall we write? Let's put something like uh, stars. Stars are I mean, you can write anything you want. I, I just wanted to show you um, how to do this. So you can 
make it a bit narrower by doing this. Now you can adjust the size here or you can adjust it here. Blackening is too Yeah, okay, that's better. We can change the font. Let's say we change it to I only changed one, right? So let's just choose that. It says multiple fonts because just now it only changed one. So I think I like that. Now they are a bit close together, but we can solve that. What you do is you go up here. You see this, it says spacing. Okay, I'll just bring it down a bit. And you can do letter spacing, which is, okay, that's about there maybe. And then you can do line spacing, okay. So I've done it like that. And okay. so it, it, it does, you know, make it, it's spaced out and, and longer and you know that's it it's it's fairly simple you can change the color let's say you don't want uh, black now what you can do is you can choose any color let's say for example you don't want any of these colors but you want uh, the color of the sea so you click you click the you click whatever it is you want to change whichever font you click up here and then if you see there's a plus sign you click on the plus sign you see it's a dropper okay you click on that and then you roll it to wherever you want let's say you want it you want that color see it's changed it it's cool right now what you can do is that's another way now this one it's a nice color so you can click it right click it and you copy the hex code right now let's say you want a border. So what you do now is you go here, okay, you click that, and let's say you want the border to be this color here, or even black. You know, you okay. Black is a bit too harsh. So what I want is actually now, bear with me here. It looks as if the all the, the font itself has changed color, right? But no, I want this as a border. But to have it as a border, I, I mean as an outline. But to have it as an outline, I need to change it here, okay? So let me go to the dropper again, and maybe I want to choose, yeah, that looks a bit black, but let me choose that. So you see, that's the color. Now what I do is I want the inside to be that blue that we just chose earlier. So we go to effects, we go to splice, not hollow. If you chose hollow, it will just pick up the background color, which is white, remember? So go to splice, and when you go to splice, if you look down here, now, if you look closer, you can see that it's offset a bit. So you go back to offset and you go all the way down so it, it's inside that outline. And you click the gray because you don't want gray, right? And remember the color that we chose just now? So you go back to plus, but instead of, again, rolling through, you know, the color of the C, you just have to paste what you've just paid, copied just now. And there you go. See? Now you can change the, you go back to effects, the thickness of the, the dark brown that we chose, you can decrease it so it doesn't, but it still pops up, if you know what I mean. It still pops up. And that's it, really. It's as easy as that. So I hope you like this video, this tutorial. And if you did, please do like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, hit the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified when I put out uh, when I publish another tutorial. Okay, bye.